Now that we have an exploded view, we're going to jump into a bill of materials. So let's go up to a new drawing file. And we have to change the size of this. This is D size paper. We want to make that A. Right click sheet, edit sheet, change size to A. And this is way too big. So let's delete the ANSI large. Drawing resources, title blocks, we want ANSI A. That's the right size. Now just go into base. If you still have it open, all you have to do is switch this to a home view. If you don't have it open, uh, you'd have to go searching for it, open an existing file. Now you could type in what scale you want, or we can just grab this guy here and drag this until it looks about right for your page. And it'll update over here with how big that actually is. Okay. It's a nice feature with Inventor. Now we'll stick with a quarter and see what happens. If you like it, we want to change it to be a shaded view and then click OK. Alright, so there we go. We're going to move this over just a little bit and then we're going to put in a parts list. So annotate, parts list is here. And we're going to say OK. Yes, we're going to enable a bill of materials. Um, I like to put my part list up here. Some people put them on top of this. As long as you can find what you need to find, doesn't really matter. And we don't really have much of a description. We have no need for a description. So let's double click that. Come over here to the column chooser. And right there where it says description, we're going to remove it and say OK and apply. And that will allow us to make this single spaced, hopefully. and still fit nicely on here. So now I know what parts I would need to make this. But I may not know what a two block socket or a one block socket is just looking at it. So what I need to do now is add balloons. Balloons are little indicators that tell you uh, what something is. And it's going to be based off of this. Okay, so click balloon, click a part, and you have to tell it where you want that balloon to go. So I have to click over here somewhere so it's stuck. Right click and hit continue. Now it looks like with our model, number nine was an assembled wheel. There's both the tire and the wheel. So it's going to come up as both being the same number. I might go back and edit that in just a second. Um, in general, you only want one of each number. So I don't want more than one nine. I don't want more than one, two, or three. And I want these to be as easy to see as possible because someone is going to be reading this and trying to figure out how to put this together. OK, so I don't need to get these guys again. Although, for clarity, because it's hard to see that that's a 1 and that's a 2, I might go ahead and add that back in again anyway. In general, we don't do this over again. You only have the one set. So I'm not going to mess with any of this. And now I had one balloon that was wonky. This number 9 over here. We're going to right-click on him and say edit the balloon. Okay, we're going to do an override and this override is going to be an 11. Alright, if I double click on this I can add a new column. So I'm going to insert a custom part, that's number 11, and I need to figure out what we called both of those because I need to change both of their names. So I'm going to go back into my folder over here, T9, and it looks like T9 tire was one, T9 wheel is the other. So I want to keep it consistent. Um, T9 wheel is okay for that assembly. I want to change, actually this one is going to be the T9 wheel. 
because number 9 is pointing to that rubber piece. That rubber piece is going to be T9 tire. Say OK. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't see a 6. It's good to go back and count. All right, so if I see I don't have a 6, and I look over here, that's the passenger base. I know that right there is the one that I forgot. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 1 through 11 here. We should be good. The last step is just put in your information here. So go ahead and put in your name. And this would be a, a T9 bill of materials, which is otherwise a bomb. When you see people asking for a bomb sheet, this is what they're looking for. It's a bill of materials. It's all the things you would need to make that product or part. Okay. Save your work and check it off with me.